Behind this door, a treasure sits in silence. You can feel it. It can't buy you a fancy car or a new house. I always had this. So this was my first love. This is what I wanted to do. This treasure, more precious than gold. The power of tradition. I'm always amazed at the reaction this organ gets still after 90 years. Bob Gulledge is the Bird Theater's house organist. I was sitting in the back. He visited the bird when he was a teenager. And it caught my attention and I begged that man for lessons probably for like five years. <laughs> he did and has been for decades. It goes back about 50 plus years, <laughs> if that's possible. Wow. So what's so special about this organ? You feel it when those big bass notes come up through the floor. This is a Wurlitzer Theater organ. It was installed here back in 1928. It was assembled in a factory, put on a rail car, and shipped to Richmond. It's one of the last original installation Wurlitzers in the entire world. And it's the last one played on a regular schedule in the Commonwealth. They know this organ around the world. Most of the mighty Wurlitzer you can't even see. It's on a separate floor. Everything that I do goes through here and translates upstairs through a relay and over to the pipe chambers. Nearly 1,200 pipes in two rooms. And just like a piano, it needs to be tuned. Can slide in and out. It's similar to a clarinet or a saxophone, but with a brass reed, the length of which changes the pitch. It takes two people to tune. Could you open up the shades for me, please? One person on the upper floor, one with the keys and pedals. Due to the organ's age, if something breaks, they can't really fix it. 90. 90 years. It needs to be rebuilt. Right. But traditions are worth saving. 91 years after the Wurlitzer organ made its debut, it's playing for a packed house for a Christmas tradition. We played for three generations of our family at Christmas, and this is a tradition we have to come back here every year. I'm always amazed at that. I just, you know, it, it sort of sets me back a little bit. And with something this treasured, its future is more valuable than gold. We're very fortunate here. We're very fortunate. On your side, Olivia Eugenio, NBC 12 News.